it seems a uh, Tinumbu and his people want to really job this uh, NLC people. NLC has not really suspended the strike. They just said, okay, they are relaxing it. And they want to see the outcome of the matching order Tinumbu gave to uh, the Minister of Finance, Edu. Um, what's his name? Uh, Wali Edu. Now Wali Edu is coming to tell us another story. Uh -huh. Because some people can jump and be telling us that. I don't understand. They will not jump and say, oh, it is not doable, it is not realistic to pay such an amount of money. And I'm always asking, if you say the government cannot pay or the federal government cannot pay such an amount of money, that it will lead to inflation. Now, they have not even increased this thing. So what led to the inflation that we are having now, we are experiencing now? And also, if the government cannot pay, I mean, why um, the things in the market, goods and services in the market have increased like 1,000 um percent so how people cannot afford to buy food now the government cannot afford to pay them so what can government afford to pay versus what the money will be able to buy and satisfy the people so the government cannot pay so everybody should be bound to the felices those who are making excuses i don't under, i don't get it okay government cannot pay so but the people is doable is doable it is realistic for people to be able to bear the suffering and the hardship okay um finance minister submits cost complica uh, complications of minimum wage to Tinumbu on Thursday. Okay. Two days after being asked by President Bola Tinumbu to prepare a new wage template, the Minister of Finance, Wally Edun, is expected to submit the cost of cost implication. Yes. Uh today, Thursday, June 6th. This is as a tripartite committee on new national minimum which convenes on thursday june 6. edu had expressed hope that with goodwill from all sides the country will reach a conclusion that is beneficial to nigerians and the economy while edu the minister of finance uh, okay what is this um will on thursday su submit the cost implication of that a new minimum wage the top labor official who is a labor representative on the tripartite committee on minimum wage explained to the point that the template was crucial to the minimum wage negotiation recall that speaking with journalists in abuja on thursday okay mohammed idris the minister of information had national and national orientation said president Tinumbu directed edu to do the numbers and present the new minimum wage figures within two days. The two days expire to the Thursday 6th of July. Meanwhile, speaking on the long drawn minimum wage negotiation, Deboade Nero, the executive director of the Center for Anti Corruption and Open Leadership, urged the federal government and labor union to finalize their talks quickly. Ade Nero said the federal government and the labor union should not waste any more time beyond the 48 hours given to the finance minister. Everything is already concluded. They need to harmonize their positions based on their participates, uh, capacities to raise resources. Yes, according to organized labor, Aquabio subtle threat that the Senate would move into executive session to address the issue of labor strike smacks of content for open and transparent debates which ought to be bedrock of parliamentary proceedings okay all of them go chop their uh, 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 breakfast one thing is that so they are still saying they are going to submit they have not submitted and they are hiding all of those things in, in secrecy let them continue but they should not just come and tell the people what is not now they cannot even defend the naira again so what is happening nobody saying anything those who are saying buy Nigeria, grow Nigeria. So what has happened? People will not get money. Now they buy Nigeria. When some people say that it was as a result of a, the patronage to Nigeria, may uh, make Nigeria uh, products was what brought uh, the exchange rate that made Naira to gain massively. So what are we now experiencing? <laughs> Nigeria government, they play. How much is the money safe that we are talking about? When you are buying 160 million Naira uh, jeep, 10 billion era kappa renovation of government lodges even 50 billion we learned that they spent 15 billion era to renovate uh, um the vice presidential 
lodge. Do you know how much they must have spent for Asso Rock? Of course, which they did before Tinubu came on board. When you are doing all of those things, you didn't send cost implication. Thank God Saraki is not a member of NAS to use as someone disturbing your government. Wale do what is the cost implication of 90 trillion era paid to or 90 billion era paid to the 2024 Hajj to Mecca? What is the cost implication of 150 million era jeep given to this 464 federal lawmakers? What is the cost implication of 800 percent increase in the salaries of judges of the federal high courts across Nigeria? Search your conscience and weigh your intentions in a balance. The evil that men do will surely leave them. We surely live with them. We surely live with them. Okay. Also, try and submit to the implication of 300% increase for judicial staff, judges, and the take home of legislators and the executive on the economy. I pity this country's leadership because you are setting her up for implosion. Non working Nigerians deserve at least 100,000 naira for upkeep, while working Nigeria should be paid a minimum of at least 200,000 naira plus allowances. Pensioners take home should also be reviewed. Some will see get paid, see get 6,000 naira and less than that over the years. The total emoluments of 50 senators can foot the wage bill of the civil servants in Nigeria. They believe that should not wait till Monday before the strike action resumes. I think uh, what is necessary now is a collaboration between the government, that is, the federal government, state government, and the NLC. They must not be ignorant of these facts if we want stability and st peace in this nation. You know, it is a, it is funny that uh, this set of people that are in government now, when they were not in government, they always talk, uh, uh, you know, like, if they are there, everything will just be going on smoothly, 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 smoothly. But now they are there. They are not doing the same thing that they were accusing those who were there before. They are not doing the same thing. Ah. You begin to wonder, what cost is that? When they were buying cars for senators, rep members, there was no cost, 300% uh, cost implication, but 300% increase in judiciary, there was no cost. This must be paid. They must pay this money, whether they like it or not. Labor makes mistake by calling off the strike. They didn't call it off strike. They only relaxed it. I said this. Now they last. But you know the same thing. Now they last. So if they're not green, I'm not going to get it. Even people be talking, hey, yeah, hey, you, are not, hey, you are not coming at the right time. Now they have, oh, hey. they said, oh, in fact, hey, Ononuga and Murik, they started twisting it. Twisting it. That Ononuga, hey, that, that was very, very bad person. Unfortunately, those who are supporting them, all of them, they chop blala, wutu wutu and breakfast. 